Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. On this video we're gonna be knocking out another sealed dungeon. This one is in the Baluv Mines. Our quest is A Menace Sleeps in Baluv, level 78. So that's where we're headed. Let's do it. There's a parking spot right near it. Actually called the Baluv Mines. So we're off to there. Do we have to walk? Okay, so here we are. Now, unlike um, the last dungeon we did, this one's not going to throw any curveballs at us. There's not going to be, like, any enemies that we just can only use magic on or any weird yeah. stuff like that. Pretty basic, straightforward dungeon here. And it's also going to go pretty fast. I think most of them have been running me uh, just a little over an hour. Uh, that last one was really long, though. More like an hour 20, hour 30. Um, and I seem to be stuck. What's going on? Uh, I guess the chocobo can't get in there. Thanks for the ride. Okay, we'll just run in. But yeah, anyways, uh, the last one was pretty long. This one's going to be really fast. I believe it's about the same length in terms of uh, the amount of rooms it has. But the enemies inside are just much easier and they die much faster, so we're gonna just fly right through this thing in about 40 minutes. But we gotta get there first, so on to the elevator we go. Big close-up of Nock's face. Oh, well, there we go. He's got some dirt on there. You need a washcloth, my friend. Can't be all dirty as a prince. What is this? So, uh, to get there, we... Well, I guess we have a few options. We could get off at the second, third, or fourth floor. But I think the second floor is probably slightly faster. I doubt it really matters either way. They're, they're probably all about the same length, but... We're gonna go down to the second floor, I think. Uh, so continue. Okay, here we are. This is where I'm getting off. And we're gonna have goblins and such trying to kill me, but they're only like level 7. They're gonna die to a single warp strike. Which will give me some AP. If I wanted to, I could switch to the Shield of the Just. I guess it has, um... It's got some sort of uh, extra boost to the uh, Warp Strike, so they do AoE damage. Um, but I don't really need it. If I was farming for AP with, like, really large groups, I'd probably bust that out. But these are only, like, three or four at a time. Doesn't really seem worth it to me. Here's the bridge where that Amarusha guy took me out, but he's gone. Don't have to worry about him anymore. So I want to come up here and to the left. Up these stairs. I think we're going to have more goblins. Yes. And I messed up my stamina. I got to wait for it. Okay, there we go. Oops. Got to actually target someone. There we go. Oh, wow. Gladiolus is picking Mega Potions off of level 7, dudes. That's pretty cool. Now, we don't have to take the ladder down. We can just fall much faster. So, fall down to here, and then we squeeze through the bricks, and we're pretty much there. I remember these stupid bricks took me a while to find. On my first clear, I killed everything in the dungeon, and I'm like, where... The heck is the Royal Arms. I cannot find it anywhere. And it was hiding right here the whole time. Okay, I want the left path. Down here, there is our door. Here's another one of those sealed doors. Okay, do the fancy animation. Spin, twirl cycle 
Light up. Still think those symbols are meaningless, but who knows? Hey, it's open. Let's hit it. Huh. Okay, we're inside. First enemy is going to be Vortooth. Remember. So once again, if you were uh, getting poisoned a lot, you might want to consider a ribbon. But I did a really good job of avoiding the poison last dungeon, so I don't think I need it. I feel pretty good without it. But if you're getting poisoned a lot, poison will ruin your day and waste your antidotes. Be nice to brighten things up in here. And we got a chrome bit. So as I've been doing these dungeons, I always have like a type of enemy I save my armager for. Um, this dungeon only has three things that I actually could use a hand with. Um, the first are giant wasps, which you'll only see one time. So I'll use it for them. They're really nasty. Uh, then there's one part where we're going to have two mind flayers. So I'll use it for those. And then just the boss. Everything else is pretty freaking easy. So this is this is definitely one of the easier ones, if not the easiest. Although the you've got to be higher level. So that's the only problem. If you come in here lower level, you might get beat up a little bit. But if you're the proper level and you come in here, you should breeze right through it. it shouldn't really give you any problems. Now these hobgoblins are always annoying, but they're not hard. They're just... They got a decent amount of health on them. They, they don't, like, get staggered really easily. So you just kind of have to keep chipping away at them. It's kind of hard to get blindsides on them. But pretty easy enemies, so... Shouldn't be dying to them. Everything cool? Some of these rooms are gonna have a bunch of them. If you wanted to speed it up, you could toss a spell into them. But I don't think I'm gonna be bothering with that. Oh, I thought that was the last one. There's one more. The other thing that sucks about these dudes is that they like to steal from you. Oh, and you know what I want to do? I want to spend some of this AP. What can I say? Um, I've been debating two options. They're both 333 AP. Um, the ones I've been debating are three accessories on, uh, on Noctis or guaranteed link strikes on guaranteed link strike or guaranteed crits on your link strikes um and i think i'm gonna go with the critical link it seems really good to me and i've almost got enough for the third accessory so i think we're gonna go with this so ugh, that was expensive but hopefully worth it let's go and we got a rusted bit Okay, down and down we go, and we find more Vortooth. Weak to the spear, so that's what I'm using. Smash! That was effective. Taking some hits, but luckily not getting poisoned. Got the kill with the warp strike. Smash him on the ground, jump up, stab him in the face, air dance around him. Cannot handle it. Too much movement. And maybe get the warp strike kill. Indeed. No big deal. Pick up the item. It's an Oracle Ascension coin. And we've got to have 40 by now. If I ever want another ribbon, I'll go pick one up. And we got more Vortooth. Yeah, it looks like only two of them. Stop bitching. Start killing. Basically a free room. Oops. Somehow got pinned there. And it's all over. 
We got some prismatic ore. Right. Down we go. What's it gonna be? There's the killer wasps I was talking about. They're gonna get the armager. Armager's just gonna take these guys out. Don't wanna deal with them. And we got a mithril shaft, and this is still not a split, so let's keep going. I might just use my armagers on mind flares when they start shop showing up. They're pretty easy, but they got a decent amount of health. Might speed things up a little bit. I just gotta make sure I've got them for those two. Holy crap! Uh, yeah, I'm thinking the uh, critical link strike was definitely worth it. I was seeing a whole lot of nines. So I think I made the wise decision there. Stab it, stab him. Warp strike. Oh, missed. None the worse for wear. Bring on the next one. And a potion. Down we go again. This time, hobgoblins. Go back to the sword. And what? We only got two, I think. Let's hop back. Hit him with the finisher. Oh, never mind. Messed up. Messed up the timing. But he's vulnerable. He's gonna go down. Ow, you jerk! Get out of my face! Try the finisher on him. There it is. Boom. Too much damage. My hand slips. All right, pick this up. It is a mega elixir. I need to do some more link strikes because that damage looked absurd. There's a whole group of hobgoblins. Just slash away. Oh, right in the back. Get out of there. <laughs> I love the way they skip. It's so hilarious. That might be my favorite animation. Okay, he's down. Oh, link strike. Nah, not quite. Yeah. Use the dawn hammer. Boom. He is done. Oh yeah. High potion. What do we got? We got a haven. Um. No, I don't need to make camp. Now this is an interesting item, the Apocalypse. It's got slightly more attack than the Dominator, and it's a blade that seeks to safeguard its master by becoming deadlier when the wielder's health wanes. So uh, I guess the lower health you get, the more damage you're gonna do. And uh, it's in replace, uh, it's in, let's see, uh, that one gives 298 health and 32, uh, what's that called, darkness resistance or whatever. So you lose the darkness resistance, you get a little bit more health. I think it's a good trade-off, so we're gonna do that. And I'm not gonna bother sleeping. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. And we got imps. Pretty easy. I like using the spear on these guys. And oh my god, that link strike damage. I should have got this a long time ago. That is ridiculous. Be nice to Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's like if I link strike them, they just die. Oh, crap. Oh, well, apparently that killed him. I guess pushing him outside kills him. Okay, I got an earth gemstone. Hey, 
And we got our first Mind Flayer. I think uh, I'll use the sword on him. <laughs> Those blind sides. Nasty. I think I'll just use the Armager too. Screw it. I'm not going to have two Mind Flayers for a while. We'll just get rid of this dude. Nothing to it. Okay, and we got an Oracle Ascension coin, and we're at a split. So, let's give the right side a shot. The right path. And it's another Mind Flare. Let's go get him. I remember when I thought these dudes were so hard. But now they're just a joke. Now, if they do catch it with that crap they do that you need to block, if they catch it with that, it will kill you. It's still nasty, but other than that, they don't really have anything, and those Link Strikes are just... Oh my god. I should have caught that so long ago. Alright, another Mind Flare. Let's just blindside him. Oh, never mind. Oh, I did, but no link strike. Watch out! Don't let him hit you with that frost stuff. That doesn't feel good. When his hands go glowy, that's when you hold the phase. You'll get that block in. Glowy hands. It's bad. But that is much worse for him. And that's going to finish him off. Get out. And give me some ice energy. And an ether. Right. Okay, back up to the top. So yeah, I certainly made the right decision. Although a third accessory is going to be very nice and not too far off. Unless I can think of something else I really want, but so far I think that's what I'll be going with. We'll see though, I'll do some tests and I'll debate it. And I'll eventually make a decision. Got a Mind Flare! He's going to get blindside linked for some massive damage to start. Don't hit me! Glowy hands blocking, and there's the parry. Oh, he tried to catch me. Glowy hands again. Uh, something weird happened. Stay out of his ice. Break his face. And I suppose we can just... Uh, well, I was going to overwhelm him, but now he's vulnerable. So that's going to be it for him. Let's pick this up. It's a gold ore. And down we go. And most likely to another Mind Flare. It is... is going to get armagered. Gonna get armagered. Quick and easy. Close it out, Claudio. Perhaps. And that gets me a high elixir. Up we go. So yeah, as you can see, I was not lying. This dungeon is vastly easier than the other ones. Just because of the types of enemies. So let's see, that was the middle path. So that brings us to the left path, which is the correct path. And I was not paying attention once again and missed the stamina. Because I am bad. Okay, we got imps. It's time for the spear. Didn't mean to do that. I'm dancing around but not accomplishing a whole lot. It looked pretty though. Uh, pushed him out so that killed him. I guess that's a pretty decent strategy, just push him out of the room. Got some warp strike action. Maybe I'll get an AP. I will. We all good. Better than good. And I also got a beautiful bottle. 
More imps. We can blindside them. Eh, not quite. But we can stab the crap out of them. He be dead. Okay, who else we got? We got just two left. Or actually, that might be three. Oh, ow! What the heck was that? Um. Hmm. Thinking Mega Elixir. Let's do it. Get everybody back to max HP. Link Strike, it's just too much. I might just push this guy out. Nope, but he will die. His friend's over there, I didn't see his friend. Stab it! Whoop Strike, killed. Okay, we got a Prismatic Shard. What we got, what we got? Hobgoblins, Blindside Link! Aww. Must not be able to blindside these guys, because that was right in the back. Couldn't be more in the back if I tried. Oh, there we go, I guess you can. And that just destroyed. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, this dude's got no prayer. Yeah, what, two left? I think so. Don Hammer. Problems? Nothing more Sorry to put this up. And swing and a miss. And swing and a miss. Boom. Well, I guess I got an AP for the misses. Let's go. Indeed. And we got another Mega Elixir. Down here, we got Mind Flayer. He's gonna get armored. Stop it, you stop killing. The armager, it is too powerful. What can I say? Well, they got me a prismatic ore, and we are trying the right path. Got a mind fire. Stab him in the face. Got glowy hands. Say your prayers. Can we blindside him? Never mm, can't. But glowy hands again. Oh, but he's vulnerable. It's over. He's done. Stick a fork in him. You're on fire today. And what was that item? I don't think it ever popped up. Ooh, blindside link. Smash. Mr. Glowy Hands over there. Dancing around his face into a blindside link that just absolutely destroyed him. And that leaves him vulnerable to be easily finished off. Platinum Bangle. What do those give again? I don't remember if those are better or worse than the Centurion ones. Uh, why didn't it pop up? I'm very confused. I don't even see it in my list. Oh, there it is. Uh, 700. Oh, that sucks. No, thank you. I have much better. So we are going back up to the top to take the middle path. And we're just flying through this dungeon. I don't know how much is left, but I don't think it's a significant amount. So it might be even faster than I said. Especially with these blindside links just destroying things. Or any link for that matter. Oh, crap, I didn't check it, crap! I uh, hope this is the wrong way. Otherwise, that really sucks. 
Damn it! I got so uh, caught up in what I was doing. I didn't even bother checking, but I think... I think we're good, because normally the correct path, they don't attack you that fast. But we're gonna find out real quick here. Those blindside links just... They cannot handle it, it's too much. Okay, good. The door opened back up, so we're good. Onward. Hm. Yep. That was scary. I didn't want to restart. Yep, this is another dead end, so we're good. Enough talk. He's getting the armager. Getting the armager, sir. Just has to be this way. Whose side are you on? Sorry! Okay, got a platinum ingot. Which I think is the same item I got for getting all the treasure map pieces. I think it sells for 20,000 gil. Which is the last thing I need. I've got so much gil. Let's see, that was the middle path. So we're off to the left path, which is once again the correct path. Too bad it isn't always the correct path. And I missed the stamina trick. Oh, and we got the two mind flares, so I screwed up. That's okay, though. We... I mean, it's not like a big deal or anything. I just would have liked to have the uh, armager for these guys. And I think that means we're pretty close, because I remember these being pretty... Pretty close to the boss. Oh, and I got sucked up. That's going to kill me for sure. I was being bad. Let me uh, high elixir. Good, good. Got glowy hands. Into a link strike for massive damage. And he's vulnerable, so he's going to go down quick. Now I'm going to switch to my bow and overwhelm this guy. That's that. No mercy. And uh, yeah, that's gonna kill him for sure. He's not getting out of here. You hang around here. Okay, got an ether. And down we go. Into hobgoblins. Looks like, uh, wow, like six of them. So quite a few. This one's vulnerable, though. We can get rid of him quick. That guy tried to come in and ruin the party. Didn't work out for him. Good. Ow. Stupid hobgoblin. Leave me alone. I'll parry you into a link strike. And that was weird. Didn't see any damage. That was close. It's uh gone hammer. Oh, didn't work. It bugged out. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yes, it will. You get away from me. Oh, ow. Got football tackled. Can I re revive? I can, sweet. Oh, nice guy. Watch out. I'm down. Let's use a high elixir on myself. Embarrassing myself. But it's almost over. Bam. That was a mega potion. I'm comfortable. Is this the correct way? Yes. Okay. We got impies. Let's do this. They're gonna be easy. Say your prayers. Stab down. Always a great move. I'm fine. Oh, and into a link strike. Done. Oh, got a blindside there, but no link strike. 
I pushed him out of the room, so he's dead. Blindside Link's gonna kill them both, I think. Now P managed to get away. But not for long, he got pushed out. Okay, got an ether. What will they throw at us next? Oh crap, my food is running out, but we're at the boss. You can see how fast we got here. Hopefully my food will last for the entire fight. Now this boss is actually pretty mean. As you're aware, the uh, necromancers are mean. This is like a super upgraded necromancer. It's a psychomancer. But he's getting beat up pretty good to start. And I think I'll be using my sword on this guy. Hopefully getting some blindside links. Do that massive crit damage. Now watch out for that green goop he shoots out, because I'm pretty sure that'll one-shot you. I didn't let him use it on me last time, so I don't know. I'm not planning to find out. And Gladio's down. Let me get him up. Whoops. Switch to the bow. Overwhelm. Hell's out, chums. Haha, <laughs> dancing in your green goo. We don't care. And, oh, this is, this is gonna be a pretty quick fight at this rate. I think he's about to use his petrify move. Oh, no, that was something else. And it didn't feel too good. Oh, green goo! Uh, blind side, but no link. Got that parry in. Ignis is up, although he might have just got petrified. Green badness, one shots Ignis. It's Mega Phoenix. Everybody up! Ah, uh, crap, did I just get petrified? Nope! Ha ha! I got the technique off just in time. This dude is not gonna last much longer. How you like that 55 hit combo to your face? Oh no, green goop! I live though, so it doesn't one shot. Oh man! He's vulnerable, so he's done. That's all she wrote. Complete! And we get... Impressive. Death penalty. This thing is nice. It's a gun for Prompto, 424 attack. It's got 25 spirit. It's a dread pistol employing rounds that inflict mortal wounds. A single hit has the power to kill instantly. So apparently he can one-shot enemies? I don't know. I haven't seen him do it yet, but hopefully. And that's all we're gonna do here. Let's get back to the entrance. <sighs> that's bad. And back to the car. And here we are. So that is gonna do it for this video. Three sealed dungeons to go. All right, well, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.